Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I think you're really going to enjoy today's video. Going to try to have some fun, going to try to destroy some stuff, maybe a little bit of educational information in the video as well. So let's get right into it. So this copper wire lug kit I just picked up is not the main focus of the video. It's part of it. This is what's going to be the main focus of the video. So I was needing to restock on some different crimp terminals and stuff, some cables I got to make up for different inverter tests and things coming up. You know, price check, different vendors on Amazon. I've been happy with Hasatronica products in the past. I've got several of their different items, used, used up all kinds of their crimp lugs and stuff. Usually they're one of the lower priced options on Amazon. So I bought this right here, then asked the manufacturer about their cable lug crimping toolkit and asked them, could I try this kit? So their agreement was if I bought this right here, they would send this for me to check out and review. So I've always been a fan of hydraulic crimping tools. Uh, the drawback to hydraulic crimping tools are a little slower. Now this crimping tool right here doesn't do as large of wire as my hydraulic one, but a lot of times I have smaller gauge wires and I need something a little bit faster. And especially this one's a little bit lighter too, can fit in different places in that hydraulic crimper. So I'm gonna check it out, see what comes in the kit. All right, so there is the crimping tool and there are the wire cutters that come in the kit as well. As I mentioned a moment ago, this tool does not do as large of wiring as my hydraulic tool, which will do 750 MCM. Uh, this right here will do one alt. So for most applications, these wires are, are very common. I've got a big project coming that's gonna be using a lot of two gauge wire and this has quick change dies and things in it. So I figured this might save some time as long as it makes a quality crimp. So first I'll check out the included wire cutters right there. So you can see the finish on it, fairly decent. It's coated in a lot of shipping oil. There's some shipping oil residue on there, so be aware of that. Yeah, decently tight on the connection right there. Let's see what kind of gap we got between the blades. If I can get you a good shot of that. Don't really see much of a gap, so let's just try it out. There's some six gauge wire right here. I'm gonna remake these terminals here in just a minute. Right, cuts pretty good. We'll see how that holds up over time. Of course, I'll update you as I use these tools down the road, but right out of the box, fairly sharp, fairly good cut right there. So not to complain about yet. So now I've got one of the lugs. I'm gonna cut through the lug, you know, plus the wire inside the lug with these cutters right here. So let's see what we got. Ah, fairly easy. So now I'm gonna check out the crimping tool right here. Let's see what it looks like. Ah, Nice tight fit, don't feel any slop in it. Okay, looks decent right off the bat. See the quick change dies right there. See the thickness of the die. A fairly thick set of dies on there, not bad. So you push down the spring, rotate to whatever size you need right there. So we'll be doing, well, let's crimp on this six gauge right here since I've got that piece of scrap. So check the connection and I've switched the dies to six gauge right there. See how they fit fairly decent. Let's check the latches on the dies. Not too much play in there. Seems pretty decent. That's pretty cool. You can, you can quick change. That'll save a lot of time for whatever projects you're working on. I actually need to roll that back around if I was doing a two gauge or something right there. So yeah, it looks like it's going to line up fairly decent. So I'm going to test this crimper versus the hydraulic one right there. Got six gauge dies in this one right here six gauge and i've got this one on its six gauge die setting as well i've got a piece of windy nation six gauge battery cable right here two paint markers so now i will come to my terminal kit right here I'm going to find two different six gauge lugs so let's see what this one is right there that is a six by half and this is a six by half as well. So now I will take paint markers. I'm gonna mark each lug. So I'm gonna use white. So remember white for the hydraulic right there. So I will mark this one with white so it's conspicuous so we can identify the lug after the testing I'm going to be doing here in a minute. So there we go, we got white paint all over that one right there. And then I'll put yellow paint over here on the Hastronica. 
because I got some yellow on the handle there. So we'll mark this one yellow very conspicuously so we can tell which one it is. Get it marked up real good because when I hook the uh, test device to this, we may lose a little bit of paint. All right, two different colors, two different crimp tools. And since I'm trying to make this as fair a comparison as possible, I'm going to strip each end of the wire exactly one half of an inch. That should bury it in the very end of the crimp lug. So let me cut this back a half inch on either side. All right, so I scored the jacket on both sides right there. I'm gonna double check after I remove the jacket to make sure we are equal. All right, fairly close to a half inch on that side and then fairly close to a half inch on that side close enough for what we're doing and i'm just doing one pass just one crimp i'm not double crimping the lug i just want to see the strength of a single crimp centered in the lug to the best that i can so we'll put that in there then i'll crimp it and we'll see what we got all right let's see what it looks like Okay, there is the crimp. A little bit of excess right there protruding out of the top of the crimp. And then same thing on the hydraulic. Get that in there, get it turned, clock the same direction. And use the hydraulic tool, crimp it on the other side. All right. And there is the crimp from the hydraulic. The actual width of the jaws right there actually makes bigger contact patch on the actual terminal right there. So you can see the difference. So what do you think? Should I double crimp this or single pass? I think single pass would be more accurate if you're just doing one pass. Now two passes on this one would be almost equivalent. So maybe do it this way and test it. What is that almost three eighths of an inch give or take and then the astronica single let's see if we even get uh, about three sixteenths not quite a quarter i'm going to go ahead and crimp twice with the astronica crimper right there that way we're fairly equivalent to the contact area i know technically i should just test it one pass but um i don't want to waste this little section of wire waste these lugs so let's make it count. Let me crimp it one more time. So I've got it backed up all the way back to the throat of the lug right here. I'm not gonna crimp the actual beginning of the taper of the lug right there. So a pass and a half, I guess, is what we'll call this one. All right, there we go. So two passes with the Hastronica got us closer. Uh, to three eighths, just still a little bit smaller contact patch than the hydraulic. But now let's test and see what happens. Gonna see which one fails. So here's the setup. Got some cheap straps. Got it run through the lugs right there. Remember yellow is the Hystronica. The white is the hydraulic. Another strap to a three quarter ton chain fall. So I'm going to pull between these two trees and see which one of these fails. So something's gonna break, whether it's gonna be the straps, the lugs, the wire, or the trees. Something's gonna break. All right, here we go. Oh, that was quick. Wow, that's surprising. The hydraulic one failed before the Hastronica one did. Interesting. So that was fun. One thing about the Hastronica, of course, you can see it made a tighter crimp as evidenced by the excess copper that was squeezed out of the dies, whereas the hydraulic one didn't squeeze as much out of the die. So, you know, those dies are used, well used. These are brand new. So is there some wear in this die causing that? Or is actual clamping force greater on this one than this one? So I move the remainder of the jacket on that little piece of six gauge cable. This is the double crimp astronica lug so i got it looped around so i'm gonna see if i can pull it out of the lug or break a strap trying all right it popped out that time i have a suspicion that that windy nation cable was not quite true to size it didn't seem like a very good crimp on either device 
So maybe that cable was a little undersized. So I'm going to eliminate that variable out. I'm going to try that again with a different piece of six gauge wire. This is a piece of silicone jacketed six gauge tin coated wire. So it feels a little bit thicker. It's got more strands in it. So I'm going to recrimp the same way and try it again. All right, single pass. Yes, a lot more force required that time. So that wire diameter is slightly larger than that Windy Nation was. So right there, you can see the extra copper that's been pushed out of the crimp that time. And then through the hydraulic press again. All right, so this time I'm gonna do one pass here, one pass there. It's only got one crimp from the Hastronica this time, just single, single pass. So not doing the double pass this time. So make it a little bit more fair. I know I've changed more than one variable, not to true scientific method. I know, I know. But if it pops out on this and stays here, I'll just recrimp this with a double crimp on a new lug. How does that sound? Does that sound fair enough? I think it is. All right, so set back up again. Remember, hydraulic, the Hastronic with a single pass, the new section of six gauge wire chain fall is just off screen. So, see what happens. Mm, it's grabbing a little better that time on both of them. I think that Windy Nation cable might be a little slack. Ooh, that's pretty tight this time. It's moving, uh, moving a little small tree that I've got the chain fall connected to. All right, we got some action that time. That's what I was hoping for on the first time right there. So one pass on the Hasatronica versus one pass on the hydraulic, pretty much equal. The weak point was the ring, which was what I was expecting the first time. So at least I got my desired result to break the ring instead of it pulling out of the wire. So that result was what I was expecting off the first test right there. I was expecting the crimps the presses to hold and then the rings to break shear that's why i picked the large thin ring right here this size terminal so i could hopefully shear it off which this one sheared first just that's the way it did you can see this one right here was about to shear off as well you can see, see some of the stretching a little bit right there and right here so for all intents and purposes and that's pretty equal right there one pass with the hydraulic one pass with the hasatronica as you can see the crimp is smaller in width but it's a little bit tighter in diameter because you can see the excess copper squeezed out right there versus the hydraulic you know a little bit bigger contact patch but maybe not quite as tight but i'm impressed with that crimp tool right there uh, that did very good so what did i learn today well i learned that i really like this new hasatronica you know crimping tool that's quick with the quick change dies that's going to save me a lot of time versus using the hydraulic right there this is a lot heavier than this as well so smaller gauge stuff i know i can trust it if the wire is correct so just one pass right there is equivalent to one pass on this from that rudimentary testing but hopefully that proves the point that that crimp is stronger than the actual ring terminal itself and another thing i learned uh, the windy nation cable let me down so that roll of six gauge windy nation cable i took that sample from that'll be getting returned so if something's not right there whether it's not true to size or what uh, but this is just some six gauge silicone jacketed wire i'll have a link to this wire right here which apparently is more true to size than windy nation i have a link to this and then the other parts i use to make little projects and stuff if you're interested look it up so let me know what you think about the hastronica crimping toolkit right here and have you used any of Hastronica's you know accessories their copper wire lugs or any of their heat shrink things like that if you have let me know your experiences with them in the comment section down below so hope you enjoyed the video today as always thank you for watching y'all take care be safe I will see you on the next one special thanks to Hastronica for providing this field testing sample